In this step, I want to create a point P that represents the highest point of our piston as Q turns around in a circular path, path as a function of A. Now, my unit circle right here is different from your circle. Our radiuses are different, so our formulas will be slightly different. But we want to create a function first. Let's call it H for height. It's the height based on some input X. And I'm going to say mine is the square root of H squared minus, in my case, it's just going to be the cosine squared of uh, x, and then plus the sine of x. Your, your formula will be slightly different. It's based on the formula that we went over in class together. And again, the differences are accounted for because our radius, radii are different. All right, that's our function. Now, the, the point p is always going to live on the y-axis, but its height, the height of p is defined by h of x. In our case, specifically, x, the input we're looking for is the angle. We're trying to define it based on the angle. So I'm going to type h of a. I'm going to label this point p. And now, let me just scroll up a little bit here. Here you'll see two things. You'll see the, the function that is being represented. Let me just zoom out a little bit. The function h of x here, you can hide that function. You don't need it. But what we should see is, right, now point P will bob up and down. In my case, the maximum height of P is 9, and the minimum is 7. Yours should go and toggle between 6 and 10. But make sure it responds to your change in the angle and is labeled. All right, I hope that helped.